if you love cookies with crispy golden edges and chewy center filled with gooey chocolate, these cookies have your name on them. Hey you magical people, welcome to Salted Sugar Saga and today everyone in my home is overjoyed because we are baking these beauties. And for this we need granulated white sugar followed by firmly packed dark brown sugar. Guys, take a moment. If you haven't, do subscribe my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified for all the updates. Now we'll add oil. I'm using olive oil over here. You can use any oil which doesn't have strong flavor and strong aroma. Now we'll whisk everything really well. Once it's done, we'll add our vanilla extract. Use the pure one, do not use the imitated ones because pure ones have a lot better flavor. Now I'm gonna add milk in that. I'm using the whole milk because whole milk gives kind of richer flavor. Although you can use the skimmed one or 2%. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients and for that I need plain flour or all-purpose flour or we call it maida so now I'm gonna add salt to our all-purpose flour baking soda now we're gonna sift our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients if you like the recipe Hit the thumbs up. Now we'll fold in the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients and for that job you need a silicon spatula or any other spoon you can use but do not use a vest because we don't want to over mix or overwork with that dough. Now I'm gonna add my chocolate chips. and fold in the chocolate chips evenly in the dough. Cookie to, uh, texture lot more depends on the flour measurement and your oil measurements that definitely I'll tell you later but now our cookie dough is really ready I'm gonna scoop out my cookie dough on a baking tray which I have lined with a parchment paper or a butter paper I'm using an ice cream scooper for that job you can use a regular spoon this is one and a half teaspoon so I'm making one and a half teaspoon cookie dough balls and after scooping all the balls, I'm gonna pop them in the freezer for 30 minutes at least. If possible, keep them overnight. In that way, you're getting a kind of complex flavor and richer flavor. Once it's done, we're going to pop them in the freezer for 30 minutes. Now they are firm and what I love to do, I love to store them in a Ziploc bag and bake them whenever I need. So I'm going to put all my cookie dough balls in a ziplock bag and I'm gonna bake them some for you guys to see uh, how the texture really comes Now we'll bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes depending on your oven. 
Now see, as I told you, um, this is more of a, a gooey texture of a dough, which is not very firm. So for this texture, you won't get a perfect kind of cookie. Perfect kind of means it's not a crisp top and gooey center. It's more of a soft cookie, which is more of a flatter kind of thing. And uh, it's chewy, it's soft. So if you want this cookie, you need a different measurement. You'll get this kind of cookie if you uh, add more of uh, less of a flour and more of oil. But you'll get these cookies if you'll follow the measurement I have given you. They are still a bit warm. Okay, let me show you how they look. Oh, see how beautiful they are. So guys, until next time, keep watching Salted Sugar Saga. Bye-bye. Take care.